Tom French here and welcome back to my channel and today is another super easy look um, you may have seen it a little while back I'm not sure when this is going to go up but I tried doing a bright eyeliner look using a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick obviously they're eye safe which is why I was quite happy to do that but I thought should I try and get the same sort of effect with eyeshadow it worked as you can see by my face so it was literally another super simple easy look that you guys can do you can find these color the colors that i literally used on my face in any palette that you own at home so i thought i'd share it with you guys i was just going to put some makeup on to film a video um which is why you probably will see me in a few videos looking like this or something similar um or wearing this top because you know we can't all buy clothes for every single video <laughs> but i am bulk filming um i've just got a few videos that i want to get done and i really wanted to try a green eyeliner look and i'm really pleased with how it turned out and it was super simple and easy and i'm so glad i tried it out so you guys could try it at home and see how easy it is um so without me rambling on too much if you'd like to see how i created this really easy yet nice and vibrant green eyeliner then carry on watching Right, so we're taking the Morphe 35B palette, which I reach for so much because the bright colours in this are amazing. And I'm just taking this white shade just to set my uh, eye, eyeshadow, <laughs> just, just, just to give a base for my eyeshadow to sit on. There's not much eyeshadow going on in this look, so it's just... It's just something to give it a nice smooth even look so now i'm going into this sleek palette um i think it is called bad girl or bad gal palette i'm not sure it's an old one um i've just taken that brown shade and using it as like to add a little bit of color like a transition sort of shade but literally this is the only bit of eyeshadow color wise that we're going to really put in the crease this is it super simple super easy blend it out And once that's blended out we are taking our collection lasting perfection concealer and we're just going to kind of use this to make our eyeliner wing um, it's really easy just use an angled brush um, and just like act like you're putting your eyeliner on is the best way I can put it um, draw your wing on using concealer it is really strange at first but it's quite easy once you start like applying it and think keep thinking eyeliner and you're okay and you just check that that looks like a wing and there's enough there for you to lay the color down on afterwards but honestly it's really easy i think anybody could do this look i think this would be a really good look as well if you're like afraid to try color so by keeping the rest of the eye neutral and just adding that little bit of color in the eyeliner area i think it would work really well if you want to try out colors And now we're going back into that Morphe 35B and we're taking this green shade and this is what we're going to lay over the top of the wings that we've created using the concealer. Um, just get another angled brush or if you have a small packing brush that you can use more precisely then just slowly pack that colour on over the top of the concealer and just build it up until you're like completely happy. Um, as you can see I did take a while doing this but it was just because I wanted to get that green to really really pop um, I probably could have got it better if I did use like a liquid eyeliner that was a bright green um, but this was like an experiment more than anything to see if you could get like something really really good but just using what you've got rather than keep going out and having to buy new products so if you want a cheaper alternative to colored eyeliner or liquid but versions of eyeliner this is for you <laughs> So keep building up that green in, in, the, in the entire area of the concealer. Just pack it on and build it up until you're really happy with how bright it looks.
And once you're happy with that, do the same on the other eye. Now we're going back into that palette again, if I can get it open that is. And we're going into this dark shade of green at the bottom here. And we're just going to use that in the lower lash line area. It's just to give it a bit more of a, a pop of green as well as being just on the upper lash line. Just gives you something else just to give it a more of a finish. And now we're taking our mascara and just applying it to the upper and lower lashes. And now I've added some lashes on top just to give it a bit of extra oomph and I'm taking the Lottie London AM to PM liner for our waterline. And now we're taking the Unicorn Heart uh, highlighter from Revolution and we're just going to use the, there's like, because it's like a rainbow sort of striped effect in there, I sort of focused on that green shade that's in there. Um, and just built that up on the inner corner just to give it a nice pop of colour, like a, like a shimmery, highlighty pop in the corner. And I brought it down a little bit towards uh, the inner corner and the lower lash line. And now we're using a ruby blush on our cheeks. And going back to the Unicorn Heart for the rest of the highlighter, I just sort of brushed this all over and uh, used it as the, like all the colours mixed together kind of highlighter. As it is, it is a absolute glowing highlighter. Once you're glowing, I use this NYX lipstick and um, apply that to my lips. I don't know what I was going to say then, but uh, <laughs> I applied that to my lips. All the products for this look will be listed below, but it's pretty basic and pretty simple. But if you want to know the lip shade, because I haven't got it to hand, I will be writing it all in the description bar below. So if you'd like to get this lipstick, you'll know the shade because it will be listed down there. And I'm adjusting my nose ring again and not picking my nose. <laughs> And we can't finish like this. Much better! And that's the finished look guys. That is how easy it was. Literally you could do this at home. All you need is like an angled brush like, let me find the actual brush I used. Like an angled brush like so. And you, you, well, if you've got a couple of these, one for your concealer and one for your eyeshadow and just pack it on nice and slowly and it just does the same job. Obviously I use tape to get it nice and sharp and neat because if you did try that with eyeshadow you probably could do it but I'm not, um, I'm not overly confident about doing it and getting a nice sharp wing so I use the tape and that's why it looks super sharp and it's subtle yet effective like it really is. I really love it. So yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give me a big thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and see what else there is to come there will be a giveaway coming soon um as i've hit 1.4k i wanted to do a giveaway for you guys it won't be just on Inst uh, it won't be just on youtube should i say it'll be on instagram also there so there'll be two chances of winning there's going to be like two boxes of prizes going up so stay tuned for that but i just thought i'd quickly film this nice easy look and try out eyeshadow rather than eye, uh, liquid eyeliner or liquid lipstick so this is what we got so i'm gonna let you guys go like i said if you haven't subscribed and see what else there is to come and leave me a big thumbs up if you haven't already so i'll see you guys in the next one bye